Hello, in Adobe Camera Raw 10.3 and later, you can create your own profiles based on lots for developing raw photos in Photoshop and Lightroom. We all know that 3D LUT Creator allows you to create lots and record any color corrections to them. Thus, you can process your photos even faster, and most importantly, the way you want it. Not limited to built-in profiles from Adobe. And in this video, I will show how to do it. Let's consider the process of creating a profile based on LUTs in Adobe Camera Raw. I will select a raw file, on the basis of which I will create a new profile and load it into Photoshop. Adobe Camera Raw is launched. I need an image based on which I will make a color correction in 3D LUT Creator. So this raw file must be developed in Adobe Camera Raw before uploading to 3D LUT Creator. Adobe Camera Raw settings will be recorded in my new profile. So I won't touch the sliders here, since it will be more convenient for me to configure these parameters in Lightroom for each photo separately. But I will choose the appropriate developing profile from Basic tab. I click on the icon opposite the list of available profiles and get to the profile selection page. Here you can select a profile from Adobe. Let's see how they look. You can also choose a profile that simulates the work of profiles from the manufacturer of your camera. In my case, Fujifilm. So I like the soft profile. Let's select it. You have options for uploading the file to Photoshop under the image in the preview window. There are color space and bit depth of the file. I'm going to create a LUT for Adobe RGB space. So I will leave Adobe RGB here, 16 bits, and open the file in Photoshop. If you will use ready made LUTs, it is better to choose sRGB here because most of the ready-made LUTs are created for sRGB or Rec. 709. Since I have the working color space sRGB in Photoshop and my file is in Adobe RGB, Photoshop asks me in which profile to upload the file. I choose to use the built-in profile. Now I launch 3D LUT Creator and load this file from Photoshop. You can process a picture in 3D LUT Creator in several ways. You can download a third-party LUT. And if it doesn't work, fix it by yourself. You can load a previously created preset or create your own edit. I have a ready-made preset that I created for the sunset landscape. I will upload it here. The highlights here are too pink. It suits sunset clouds, but not the waterfall. I will fix this with a mask based on the black channel of CMYK color space. Done. A few words about my color grading. I use Channel Mixer here. I'm going to make the moss greener on AB Grid. I increased color and contrast using CMYK curves. As you know, there are no CMYK curves in Lightroom. You will also not be able to increase the saturation of shadows and reduce it in highlights in Lightroom. My color edit is done, and I'm saving my LUT in .cube format. I will go to the menu, File, Export, 3D LUT. Done. Let's return to Photoshop. An open file is no longer needed. So I close it and then load my raw file again. It is very important to leave here all the settings that you used before developing the file for 3D LUT Creator. Fortunately, Photoshop saves these settings. Soft profile is already loaded. So now everything is ready to create a profile based on my LUT. I'm going to Presets tab. I'm holding down the Alt key and only then click on the icon for creating a new preset. I'll name my profile Waterfall. You can create a group of profiles. Let it be Iceland. Below, you can choose which Adobe Camera Raw settings will get into your profile. Since I didn't touch anything anywhere except developing profile, these checkboxes are inactive for me. If I adjusted something in Adobe Camera Raw, then this item would be active, and it would be possible to put or not to put a tick on it. 
Next comes the parameter responsible for compressing the dynamic range. The greater the compression ratio, the stronger your photo will look like HDR while using shadows and highlight slider. I'll leave it as it is since I like a natural look. Next comes the look table upload. If during the edit you select a profile from Adobe, it will be loaded here. I chose the soft profile from Fuji, so there is nothing here. But in fact, it will still apply even if I don't check this box, so go ahead. And finally, the LUTs loading section. I'm going to upload my LUT here. What options can I choose for my LUT? I choose Adobe RGB Color Space. Next, I can choose how colors that fall outside the profile gamut are displayed. They will be either cut off or extrapolated. It's unlikely that something will go beyond the color gamut here, so I'll leave it as it is. And at the very bottom, you can choose what values the slider for adjusting the degree of profile application will have. The leftmost will be 0, the middle 100%, and the rightmost 200%. I leave it as it is. Click OK. New profile is created. I go to the Basic tab, select my new profile and load it. Compare with what is in 3D LUT Creator. Everything looks great. Now I go to the most interesting thing. I am launching Lightroom. I will filter out the photos that I have selected. And now I'll upload my new profile. This is how the slider for adjusting the degree of profile application works. I will leave it at 100%. Now I synchronize the profile settings for the remaining files. Done. Here's before, here is after loading the profile. I got the color I need. Now I do the rest in Lightroom. I can restore highlights. Raise local contrast. I can change the exposure and so on. So now you know how to combine the tremendous color management capabilities of 3D Luck Creator with the speed and convenience of working with RAW files in Lightroom. I think wedding photographers will appreciate it more than others, as they edit so many photos. That's all. Like, subscribe to the channel. There are a lot of interesting things. See you in the new video.